Listen, guys, don't get so hung up on, oh my gosh, they said this, what am I supposed to say? I need to think through every possible scenario that if they say this, then I'm going to say this. And if they say that, then I'm going to say that. And if they say this, then I'm going to say that. By default, whenever you guys go into the, if they say this, I'm going to say that mode, what are you doing? First of all, we're not doing? listening. There it is. You're not <laughs> listening. You're only listening to respond. Okay, I heard him say this. Now that means I get to say this. In other words... By default, you're training yourself to do what? Not listen and overcome objections. Overcome objections, yeah. I don't care what they say. I don't care when they say it. I don't care how they say it. Doesn't freaking matter because I have a framework I'm going to follow that simply allows me to say, here's why I'm calling you, who I am, who I serve, what I'm asking for. And then you're going to one hundred percent of the time you're either going to ask a clarifying question or you're going to give me an objection that's it that is it i suppose your third option for those of you that want to be super technical is i just hung up on you in the middle of you talking which by the way i would classify that as a dadgum objection no desire they're going to ask a clarifying question or they're going to ask an objection or tell you an objection that's it there's not a third option to my knowledge so kelly why am i harping on this because we always revert back to the bad ways because we revert mm -hmm. back to inefficient ways for sure. But, but more importantly, because we love, 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 love to overcomplicate it. We love, 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 love to play the what if game. What if they say this? What if they say that? What if they cut me off? What if they interrupt me? What if they don't know if I sent the email? What if they didn't open the email? What if the email didn't get delivered? What if aliens landed on earth? What if, what if, like who the hell cares about any of the what ifs? Who I am, who I serve, what I'm asking for. It doesn't change then they will respond with either an objection or they will respond with a clarifying question every flipping time kelly you are the decision maker don't care how you handle it it does not matter to me pick up the phone hello this is kelly hey kelly it's zach hey zach what can i do for you hey i'm the guy that has shot you a couple of emails i work with uh, at the benefit doctor with with businesses that love and care about their folks and have got benefits and insurance and all that stuff in place for their people. And they want to make sure for the time and the money that they spend on benefits, it's the best it can possibly be. Is that something you'd be willing to meet with me on for like, I don't know, 30 minutes? Uh, well, we've already got benefits in place. Um, we just renewed back December 1. And so we're, we're pretty good right now. So what you're saying is you love your people and you do take care of them. Yeah, we think so. Good for you. Well, let me ask you this then. Since you guys just went through all the open enrollment stuff, I'm assuming that means you've got somebody you're working with on all this stuff? Yeah, we do. Okay. And, and were you like five-star elated with how that process went and your deductibles and co-pays and the employees love it and you love it. And if you could make it better, you wouldn't make it any better whatsoever. Um, I don't really know about that. I know the, the agent that we have has been with us for a long time and he's really good friends with the owner. And, um, I just don't know that they're going <laughs> to, they're going to change anything. Gotcha. Well, you just said the owner. So I'm assuming you, you are head of HR, correct? Yes. Yes. It, it all goes through me first. Gotcha. If there was a way to make it a lot better, would you want to know about it or would you not even want to know? Um, yeah, I mean, if there was a way to make it better, sure. You, me, I, don't know, that, I don't know that it's going to go anywhere past me. I don't know if it will either. You want to take a look at it? Yeah, sure. So why'd you give me the appointment? Um, I don't know. It really, it just, it felt more like there wasn't a reason not to, I guess. Thank you. If any of you on mute have got feedback or questions or you want to pick on that, come off mute and let's rip that for just a second. Why did Kelly give the appointment? Because she'd be stupid not to. <laughs> Why would she? Why would she be stupid not to? Well, if she's got information <laughs> that she can take to her boss that will save him money, give him that information so he can make a choice of whether to keep his relationship. Stop. Stop. Or where, where, anywhere in our conversation, did you hear me talk about saving you money? No, well, where? I mean, where did you hear me talk about product or making it somehow substantially better? Nothing. The only question I asked Kelly, I had to come back to it twice. I had to come because she offered me two objections. So I had to clarify twice. Do you have any desire now or later? Well, yeah, I would, I would want to know, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to go past me. It might not. Objection agree with it and then you clarify you're right it might not go past you at all i i have no idea would you want to know or not uh, yeah i'd, I'd want to know okay you me 30 minutes let's find out in all seriousness for anybody that wants to let's tango on this why does it have to be more difficult than what it just was right there why do we have to complicate it further than that 